In the diagram below of triangle PQR, ST is drawn parallel to PR. So ST is parallel to PR. So why is that important? Well, that's because by telling us that these two lines are parallel, we now have an understanding that these corresponding angles are going to be congruent, as well as these corresponding angles. And why is that important? Well, then we have triangle SQR, or SQT, is going to be similar to triangle PQR because of angle-angle theorem. Right? If you have two angles that are congruent, two corresponding pairs of angles that are congruent, then the two triangles are deemed similar. All right, so T, uh, PS is equal to 2, SQ is 5, and TR is equal to 5. What is the length of QR? So having this understanding, now we uh, the question is asking us to solve for QR, which we can set up a proportion to, to find. So let's call that length there uh, X, right? So if that's the case, then QT in terms of X will be X minus 5. So now I have... Um, I have these side lengths that I can do comparisons with, I can set up proportions with. So I can say SQ, which is the length of 5, over PQ, which is a length of 7, is equal to, again, from the smaller triangle to uh, the, the right side of the smaller triangle, which is X minus 5, over the entire length of the right side, which is x. So I went from a geometry problem now to, down to an algebra problem. I'm going to cross multiply both sides. So I get 5x is equal to 7 times x minus 5. Let's distribute the 7. I get 7x minus 35 is equal to 5x. Subtract 5x from both sides. I get 2x. Add 35 to both sides. I get 2x is equal to 35. Let's divide both sides by 2. I end up with 35 halves, or really this is going to be 17.5. And what is the length of QR? So the one that matches it is option 4. It's 17 halves.